I can worry when Scott the Scott man, it's a cloudy and wet morning, but yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately we're gonna be leaving Vienna today. We're gonna be but we're gonna be taking a train to Salzburg. I get breakfast and let's head to the train station. It is chilly out this morning. Train should be departing in about 15 minutes and we'll be heading out to Salzburg. All right, made it to Salzburg. Well, we're just at the train station right now. I'm gonna step at the TI here really quick. And then need to get to where I'm staying for the next couple nights. All right, made outside. It's a little drizzly right now, but oh well. <laughs> but yeah, it's a little chilly out. <laughs> so I thought the highs are only supposed to be like 11 or 12 degrees Celsius. That's like low 50s Fahrenheit. <laughs> but while I'm waiting for my bus, I just want to show really quick. Uh, this is a Salzburg card. Got to keep an eye on my stuff here. Okay, I get the picture. <laughs> the Basically, it's a it's a car that you can purchase for either one, two, or three days, to where you can gets you a, gets you access to all the different attractions in Salzburg. And in addition, you get it'll get you free public transportation for for a two day car. I spent about thirty seven euros, which is if you do a lot, use the buses a lot, and you check out a lot of the different attractions. It's definitely a money saver. It makes it convenient that you don't have to buy a bus ticket every time, too. All right, bus should be here shortly. I'll do have to stand over there. All right, I just got off the bus, and I'm about a 10-minute walk probably from where I'm staying. I'm, I decided to change it up for Salzburg and stay in an Airbnb. I won't show exactly where it is because it is a residence after all, but I'm not far from where where it is though. But I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a quick little lunch first. Hi, right, before I get to my Airbnb, I ordered a uh, durum. It's, an, it's the same type of kebab I had when I was in Vienna a couple days ago as part of my street food video. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's so good. Oh, yeah. So this is where I'm staying for the next couple nights. This is only, I think, kind of a shared place. I kind of want to keep my voice a little low in here. You know, nice little bedroom in here. A little couch. And then, although not cooking or anything like that, but you do get that option here too. A sink and then a shower area. And then there's a shared toilet like in the main part of the house too. But anyway, I'm gonna drop all the rest of my stuff and we're gonna go explore Salzburg. Alright, it's time to explore the old town. I was able to finally drop off my stuff. Yeah, keep my jacket on just because it's cold out. <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's go to the old town. Welcome to Salzburg. This is the fourth largest city in Austria. Compared to where we were earlier in Vienna, we're more in the central part of the country, not far from the border with Germany. And we look over here, we have the uh, Salzach River, and we just cross over the uh, Mozart Steg, or, or which is basically the Mozart Bridge. And we can see Old Town Salzburg. You can even see the, the the fortress up at the top. All right, so we're going to cross back over the bridge and head to the old town.
And we've entered the old town and and we are at Mozart's Platz. Uh, behind us is a statue of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, or we want to say it the Austrian way, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Mozart is one of the most famous composers in the entire world. He he was also known not only for his music, but also for only living for 35 years, 1756 to 1781. He spent his first 25 years living here in Salzburg with his family until he eventually wanted to move over to Vienna. And to the right of the Mozart statue, we have the Salzburg Museum. It's a museum where you can learn a lot about the history of the city of Salzburg. In fact, uh, back before the 19th century, Salzburg ruled independently within the Holy Roman Empire. And it was never invaded. Well, by force. <laughs> because it, they did surrender to Napoleon in the early 19th century. But yeah, the reason why they did not, nobody successfully invaded or even want to invade Salzburg is because of the big fortress we saw at the top of the mountain earlier. Because for, for, an, for, an, for an enemy soldier, it looks intimidating. But eventually, after, after Napoleon surrendered, Salzburg was incorporated into Austria. And here we are, not terribly far from Mozart, Mozart's plots, we have residence plots. Got some cool things we'll show really quick here. At the western, the western side of residence plots, that is the residence. That is where the, a long time ago, the Prince Archbishop used to call home. And take a look how beautiful that fountain is. And we have the, the newer residence, or, or, or Neu residence. A residence and currently inside that's where the Salzburg Museum and the Panorama Museum are located and you can even look up at the top and see people looking out at the top there. Oh wow take a look at the front of the cathedral that is amazing. Matter of fact uh, Mozart was even baptized in this cathedral. Let's go inside. That was beautiful inside. Yeah, in fact, if I turn the camera around this way, there, yeah, there's the fortress, Hohensalzburg. There's a funicular, I'm gonna take that's over in that direction, I'll take that straight up. It's free with the Salzburg card. But yeah, this, this, this looks cool. Hohen Salzburg Fortress. Hey, got some cafes and restaurants just around the uh, funicular. The torture tower. Yeah, one of the reasons why I wanted to come up here is because we get some spectacular views of Salzburg and the whole area up here. If I go over there and get some views.
chamber in here. <laughs> Oh man, those views from that rec term at the top were amazing. And in fact, I'm glad a lot of the clouds kind of cleared out so I was able to see the Alps off to the south of here. All right, I'm gonna head back, back down to the old town and I'm gonna go check out the birthplace of Mozart. We're on our way to Mozart's birthplace, uh, birthplace now, but really quick, let's get a quick view of the Altermarkt. Yeah, I can only imagine what this city looks like around Christmas time when it have all those Christmas markets. This is beautiful. And here it is, Mozart's Kaputz house, or Mozart's birthplace. That is where Mozart was born. I'm gonna go inside there. Yeah, the museum was pretty cool. Unfortunately, yeah, I cannot take pictures or video inside, but it takes you into the and into the rooms which the Mozart family lived in during Mozart's first 17 years of his life before they moved to a new to a new residence across the Salzach River. But yeah, the, the, they even had a, some of the original like props from or instruments that Mozart used, like his violin, which I think he received when he was a kid. Just, <laughs> It's hard to believe that. He, he was playing the violin and the piano. All right, let's continue exploring the old town for a little bit. That was amazing. That whole cemetery cemetery area near St. Peter's Church, that was probably one of my highlights of the whole Old Town. But yeah, the Old Town's really, really fascinating. Lots of, lots of cool sites around town. I'm glad I got to check out quite a bit. Want to go in, in the site St. Peter's Church, but it looked like they were renovating the entrance there. Oh well. At least we got to go into the cathedral, but yeah, uh, enjoying Salzburg so far, although I've only been here for a few hours. I'm gonna leave the old town now, and I'm gonna cross over the Salzach and go get some dinner, some more Austrian food. Oh, yeah. The hills are alive with the sound of Mozart. Sorry, Von Trapps, the Mozart family came first.
<laughs> well, well, anyway. Yep, Salzburg is not only famous for the birthplace of Mozart, but it's also where the Von Trapp family used to live. And of course the basis of the famous musical and film, The Sound of Music. Hey, here's the restaurant. Zoom, Fiedel and Offen. That's where I'm going to be filming a travel lights video tonight. That was a, that was really, really good. I, instead of getting schnitzel like I did in Vienna, I want to get goulash, which is another Austrian dish. That was pretty good. I almost liked it a little bit better than schnitzel. Now, saying that, I almost need to try another schnitzel just to truly believe my words. <laughs> but yeah. Not ready to go back to the Airbnb just yet. So I'm just going to walk around a little bit. In fact, once they have it closed off for the night, I would like to go up there because I should be able to get some good views of the old town side of the Salzac, including the fortress. Wow, those were some amazing views of the old town of Salzburg from up here. And I, I do like how it's how the path over here is load up so that way you can easily navigate after dark. Although I'm probably gonna go back down to the rest of the city. But yeah, this is kinda like a little park area. There's all kind of like also a church here too. And there are a lot of viewpoints out throughout here, although as you get away from some of the areas that, that I've been walking on, I took a look and they're not really lit up or anything, so rather not go further back in the dark. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I want to see some cool views, but at the same time, I need to be very careful at the same time. All right, let's go back down. Yeah, over here, yeah, when Mozart was 17 years old, he and his family moved into this place, which was a, a lot larger or a lot larger home for them. And that's where Mozart lived until he moved to Vienna when he was 25. And we're back at Mozart Plots, although you really can't see me very well because of the light from this GoPro. But I've had a very great day here in Salzburg today. Got to explore a lot of the old town. You can get some cool views from the other side of the river, a nice Austrian dinner. And now it's time for me to eventually head back to the Airbnb for the night. I'm gonna be getting up early tomorrow because I got different things I'm gonna be planning. What things? Uh, you'll just have to wait and see. All I know is there is a rain chance tomorrow, so... Oh well, weather can't be perfect all the time. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to watch more of my travel videos, definitely click on this link over here. Well, thank you for watching today's video here in Salzburg, Austria, and this is Scott, or the Scott Man, signing out.